Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. And I hope God blesses your socks off today. It's kind of weird having a pole beside the house, right? Well, give me a second and I'm going to show you how I got to this point. Well, this is kind of what I've been dealing with for, I don't know, nine years since I've been living here. And I'm ready to fix this, get neat and organized right here. And I got something I want to show you right here. That's a hose reel I've been looking at for a pretty good while. Uh, Bit the Bullet bought one, and I'm going to show you how to put it in, talk about it just for a minute, and tell you what I like about it. And um, let's get to it. So, obviously, I got to get rid of all this crap first. And get all the water out of these hoses if there is any in here. <laughs> Look at this crap right here, man. Now you'll know why I'm making this change because I've been doing this right here for nine years. And I'm just, to be honest with you, I'm tired of doing it. And you want the hose to wind up right without twisting. So as you're pulling it in, you have to twist it so it'll do that. And it's just, it's frustrating. I ain't gonna lie to you. And of course, I've just, I've always done it this way. I just never looked at a hose reel and never considered it. And I'm to the point now where I'm ready for a change. So this is one of my favorite things about it. You can custom order the length of hose you need so you're not, you know, locked into the traditional 25, 50, 75, 100 foot of hose. Uh, you can uh, get it the length that you actually need it or the length that you actually want it. Now what I did is I took a tape measure, a roller, from where I'm going to mount it and I went to the very furthest point of my yard and then I went that way and did that and then went the other way and did that. And that way, if I ever have to take the hose pipe to the absolute far furthest point of my yard, I'll always have enough hose and it's one solid length and I don't have any connections in between it and all of that. And uh, when I got, when I, I took that measurement and I added 10 feet to it. So I have an extra 10 feet to play with. Uh, you know, for maybe pulling around the, you know, the columns on the patio or going around a bush or whatever you may, you know, whatever may have you. Uh, so I just, I added 10 feet to it so I'd have a little extra and um, we'll get it installed here and we'll pull it out there and we'll, we'll, we'll see how good that uh, thinking process worked. This right here is a leader hose, I think is what you would call it. And it's basically a shorter piece of hose that's going to go from your water spigot over to the hose reel itself. And um, it's real neat how this thing hooks up on the inside. I'll show you here in just a second. And by the way, this has been sitting in my garage for almost, uh, almost four months. If, if not a little bit longer than that, I just haven't had time to do anything with it. I guess while I'm here, I could stick my cable line back up under the siding. It's then worked its way down. I'm sure somebody will point that out. I'll go in and address this before it's even said, because I know somebody will say it. I realize there's people out there that get free stuff on the internet and on YouTube and then they come in here and they video it and tell you to buy it. Everything you see on my channel I buy. If it's something I think that you'd be interested in I'll show it to you. Try to work out a deal with the manufacturer to get you a discount or something and then you have the choice to buy it. But I want you to know I pay for my stuff. I don't take free stuff. It's wrong and I don't I just don't go for it. Believe me 
I have had the opportunity multiple times over folks calling and emailing to hey show this on a video and we'll give you this for free and blah 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 and I tell respectfully tell them to burn the road up because I'm not interested this right here is uh, somebody just commented on a video a minute ago I told you I'd show you it's a steel BT 131 bought it at my local steel garden shop or whatever it's an auger i used the echo auger for the longest time had it for years and it just we wore it out to be honest with you and so i needed a new one especially with all the plants i got going in at the shop and all that so i got one cannot remember what i paid for it i want to say they're around 600 maybe ish maybe 800 i, I can't remember uh you have to look your price up yourself this right here is a cool feature uh this mechanism right here i'll show you what that is and so it's got a pad right here you, if you got a belly like me it 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 rests right there against your belly and it's just fine and what you do is when you get ready to use the machine you pull that back right there all right now as you're digging if you hit something hard and it bites and it twists on you and look see how it catches my hip it's going to automatically cut the cut the uh, auger off. It's a safety feature. Super cool. Because if, if you buy, if you drill in and hit a rock and that thing goes shoo, like that right there, it's going to cut this off and it's going to render the machine useless. And that way it don't spin around and break your arms or something. Because believe me, the echo I had when you would dig and you'd hit something, you had to turn it loose. And it would just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. You'd almost have to let it run out of gas before you could grab a hold to it and get it up out of the hole. So I like that a lot. So what I'm gonna do right here is take my leader hose. I'm gonna go on and hook it up. Right here. Now when I did my measurement going to the furthest part of the yard, I did it from, from the actual uh water spigot and that that and so if i move it this way a little bit i lose a couple of foot and if i you know move it that way i lose a couple of foot the other way that's why i added that 10 foot on there uh to give me some you know room to play so i know that if this is my leader hose uh i got plenty of room to mount that thing right here now i could mount it on the wall they got a wall mount option and uh i, I can't mount it down here in the concrete so I would have had to come up here and I honestly don't want it mounted on my wall. So I got the post mount and what I got is a four by four post and we'll sit it right here in the ground, uh, anchor it in with some concrete and then mount it to the actual post itself. And like I said, from time to time, I'll find stuff that I like and uh, think somebody else would like it. And so I contact the manufacturer and I said, hey, let's work out a deal. Give these folks a, a discount. And that's what we did. Uh, it's a link in the description and you get 5% off. Uh, anything you purchase, you use that link, go on their website, buy whatever you want to buy. And at the checkout, it automatically puts that 5% code on it. So it's there if you want to check it out. If you don't, that's fine too. Where is the choke on this rascal? I ain't used it but one time. Surely the thing's got an on and off button. Oh, here it is up under here. It's up under there, you gotta turn it. Oh yeah. One thing I want to mention about this, if you decide you want one, uh, and I don't have no codes or links or stuff for this. I, like I said, I don't deal with steel that much. The auger bit comes attached up here, up under the machine. This extension was something I had to buy separate. Just wanted you to know that. Get old post hole diggers. Well, I'm going to tell you, that ground is sticky. I ain't kidding you. Come off of there. Good old North Carolina red clay. Look at that mess right there. 
I'm glad my yard ain't like it. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, when I say it's sticky, it's sticky. No wonder people give up on growing grass and this kind of stuff. I'm telling you. Start making humic applications all the time. And that ground will get better. If I was a root, I wouldn't want to grow in that either. So that's a treated four by four right there. Packing it down real tight on the bottom. Give me a good foundation. I doubt that's gonna settle any in that clay. So what I'm looking for here is Obviously, I'm going to get a level and plumb it. Make sure I'm level this away and this away. Something else I need to do. I don't want an eight foot two before right here, so I need to cut it. I need to figure out the height that I want the uh, hose reel to be at. Now I'm going to take the mount itself and hold it up here. That way I can get a good idea of it, about where I want the height to be. And I know a lot of times people mount them down here, but I want mine a little higher, uh, just simply so I don't have to bend over as much. I don't want to go beyond the arc right here simply because for aesthetic reasons. I think looking at it at a distance and seeing that round curve right there would be better than a pole sticking up. And again, it's a, it's a hose reel, so I don't really think that matters to be honest with you. Some will come right here, mark it, I think that's about the height I want it to be. I think that looks good. I'll go over and cut the two by four. Excuse me, that's not a two by four, it's a four by four. Always let that saw stop before you put your hands down there. Got a buddy at church cut his fingers off because he didn't wait. All right, let's check this mount one more time. It's barely one it above the top right there. See how it kind of hides that squared off point? And that way you can't see it. And actually, now that I'm putting it up, yeah, it still mounts flush. You can still hide it. I thought this part of the mount would actually have to be on there to keep it flush, but, uh, you can use this inside one right there, and that does just fine. Well, actually, no, I was wrong. When you mount this thing, this upper edge right here, see this upper edge? It ha it needs to be against the post. It can't go over the top of it because it actually it actually canters it. Uh, canter, is that the right word? It tilts it back a little bit. So I'm gonna put it right on top, right on the edge, and. Uh, you can see those two tips right there, but I don't think that'll bother me too much. I'm peculiar, I ain't quite that peculiar. So, I like that height, so now I'm gonna get some concrete, and concrete down in this hole right here, and uh, we'll go over and put the reel together uh, while this is setting up. All I did is get me a little bag of quick crete and uh, some water in a bucket. You know, my little paint stirrer that I used to mix my uh, stuff I spray on the yard. You can use that as long as you don't slosh it everywhere. It works pretty good. Now I'm not a mason by no means, but obviously you want to make sure it's incorporated well and you want to bust up those dry clumps and make sure it gets mixed in real good. I feel like a cement truck. Now if you're a mason and you want to correct me, please do, but I think you want the consistency uh, not watery and you don't want it super thick, you want it somewhere in the middle. I don't necessarily have to plumb it up right off the bat because I can move it around just a little bit once this, even though when I get the concrete in here. So I'm going to set that right there and eyeball it. Look at that. Oh yeah. So I got my concrete in the hole. I ended up filling it up about two thirds of the way uh, full of concrete. Didn't go all the way to the top. 
I mean, I'm not building Fort Knox here. Uh, I just want something to anchor it in real good. <clears throat> the rest of the way, once that concrete dries, the rest of the way I'll pack some of that clay back in there around it and be good. But now I wanna make sure this bad boy is plumb. And all I'm gonna do is take a level and level it up right here. That looks good on that side. And that looks good on that side. Check it one more time right here. Yeah. Yeah. Something else I want to do is on these back two corners, I want to measure from the side and make sure they're exactly right so the pole isn't, isn't twisted any kind of way. That way it's plumb with the you know, the siding on the house. And matter of fact, I can look at it until it's off. So I'm gonna twist it a little bit before that stuff starts setting up any. That's dead on uh, 12 and a half and one small dot. <laughs> Jeez. Is that right there's dead on 12 and a half and one small mark, so I don't, my dad is a carpenter and I don't know what that is. That's pretty bad, ain't it? 12 and a half and one small mark. And look at there, 12 and a half and one small mark. And we'll come up here and check it again. 12 and a half, one small mark. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that, but I, I don't, I ain't got a clue what that is. And 12 and a half, one small mark. So we're at 12 and a half and one small mark on both sides, so we're good to go. I'm going to double check this really carefully, try not to move it one more last time. That's plumb. And that right there is plumb. Now I'm not going to touch this uh, for a while. I'm actually going to start filming some other videos. I'm going to give us plenty of time to set up. And uh, we'll come back and mount the, uh, mount the reel to it. Packaging is super nice on it. Uh, it comes packaged very well. And you guys know, if y'all been watching me any period of time, you know I'm not going to show you any crap. Uh, I don't care for cheaply made products. I don't, I don't care to spend my money on things that are not made to last a long period of time. Because if you're anything like me, you work hard for your money. You work a day in and day out job and you want to get some value for the uh, things that you buy and spend your money on and it is what it is you know what i'm saying i just i don't care to buy cheap stuff so uh hence a lot of the things i show you they're going to cost a little bit more it is what it is when you buy something uh that is high quality now one thing I did get is the extra capacity kit, okay? And what this does is it makes the hose reel wider than a standard one. That way you can put more garden hose on it. And so I got a pretty good run to get all the way in the back corner. So I got the one with the extra capacity. They did a dang good job on the packaging. I will definitely give them that. Good gracious. You know, this is probably the last hose reel I'll ever buy uh, because I chose to buy a really high quality one. And uh, the only time I'll ever buy another one is when I, I'll probably end up buying a second one to go down there at my shed. And then I'll probably buy one to go at the shop uh, for my, you know, my front yard out at the shop out there. And other than that, I don't plan on buying another hose reel. I'm expecting this one to last as long as I need to use it. And just from looking at it uh, and feeling it and touching it, there's no doubt in my mind it's gonna last me a lifetime. Uh, it's not a lot to putting this thing together. Anybody with the slightest bit of mechanical knowledge should be able to knock this out in no time. The molding on it seems to be good. All the holes are lining up uh, just right. That looks good. That's pretty wide for a hose reel. Now in the mount right here, you can see here's the standard width hose reel. And then when you get the standard, uh, when you get the extra capacity, it comes with one that's a little bit longer 
to compensate for that wider reel. All right, so you can kind of see how this goes in here. Here's like a little loop. It's going to catch your uh, garden hose on the inside. You can put that right through there. That slides down in there. Here's a lock on it, which is really cool. You can take and clip this over and it locks it from spinning if you need it to unlock. And this part right here goes right to the garden hose, which slid up through there. And you'll take that down there and tighten that up. Look at here, when you tighten this, you want to go on and put something on it and you're going to get it tight uh, simply because you don't want that leaking inside that tube right there. So I'm going to put a little channel lock pressure on it right here. Make sure that's good and tight. That should be good right there. You see right here, this is the last step. Once I get that hooked up, I'm going to tighten that down real good. So now you can see it's spinning. When I need to lock it down, I just flip that tab up right there and it locks it in place. That, that's a, I really like that. That's a neat feature. Something else you want to be aware of. See this Phillips head? It's a little mechanism right here that's got a uh, tab on it, a little nylon loop. And you want to run your garden hose through that right there. And when you bring your hose around through here, you connect it up right there. And once you get it connected, then you take and screw this down real easy like that right there. And you can see how that tightens up on that hose. Now, why, why is that important? Well, when I got the hose pulled out all the way and maybe I need to give it a little extra tug, the pull points right here instead of right here. When we go to pulling, it doesn't put pressure on this point right here. The pressure stays right here. And the last step right here is mounting the arm right here, the little a bar that you're gonna, I don't even know what the technical name is for it, but it's what you're gonna use to wind the reel up. There we go. Here's a cool feature too. Remember my shaft that I use right here that we slid the reel over top of? You can actually flip that on the mounting bracket so that the hose reel sets the other way. What that allows you to do is you can have the hose reel either uh, coming off the wall like this, like I need it, or you can have the hose reel coming off the wall this way if you want to uh, pull it straight out from your wall. So, you know, the, you get one mounting system, but you can mount the reel two different ways, which is pretty cool. Now, let's look right here and see some of the other little things I got. Um, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy duty uh spray gun i get water hose gun whatever you want to call it and really like it that's your own and off like that um i got the the nicer head and with that head comes a little tool and you can pop this in here and unscrew that like that and you can interchange or change out the disc in it and the disc have different whole sizes in it so if you want a softer water or more water coming out and that kind of thing super neat uh, little feature they have absolutely thought this out no doubt and you just use this little tool right here to screw that back in and lock that disc in place now i've got a perfect spot right here for a roller like this right here i don't want to put it right beside there i want to come out just a little bit and drive that bad boy in the ground. And this looks like stainless steel is what that looks like. I mean, solid stainless steel. So, I mean, gosh, that, it's pretty good quality. And you just basically drop that thing down in there like that. And now when you're pulling your hose pipe, it's going to run on that roller right there like that and now i don't have to worry about catching my gutter or this corner of my you know my home over here and i'm gonna put one right here that's a good spot and let's go over here and i'll put another one up now here's another good spot right here when i'm dragging the hose around the front yard and i'm trying to go that away with it i don't want my hose to get up under this arborvitae and you know get tangled up and make it harder to pull so i'm gonna stick one right here in the corner 
Now, I got something. I'm, I think I'm going to call them and tell them this right here. I think this might be a good idea. Now, they may already make this. I don't know. I ain't looked at the website in that depth. But see how this is removable here? When off-season or even when you're not using the hose pipe, you can take it out. But look, I got an open hole for stuff to get down in. I'm gonna holler at them. And I'm gonna look on the website first. If they don't have it, I'm gonna holler at them and see if they have a little plug that they can, you can make or they can make and sell with the kit or whatever and put down in here. That way in the off season or when you're not using it, this won't fill up with water or dirt or pine needles or whatever. And uh, that way your, your thing will always spin freely and it'll keep this tube free of debris. And just pop that in there like that right there. And look at there. Boy, I like it. All right, so I got to let my concrete set up. Uh, it'll be tomorrow before I come out and actually mount the reel. And we'll finish up the video then. Well, I was going to finish up that uh, hose reel today. And I still will, but... Look at the surprise we woke up to. Huh. Cool thing is it'll be gone by lunchtime. Well, you can see that quick. It's gone. I told you to be out of here by lunchtime. Mark my holes and put me a little pilot hole in there. So I'm back out of here. This is day number two. I let this set up overnight good and sturdy and uh, what it is took the reel back off it makes my mounting a little easier okay I don't have that heavy reel that I have to try and hold up while I get this mounted when I once I get it mounted on the pole I can put the reel back on so you can see how the uh, post mount kit comes and those two will face the inside like this one and it slides right on there like so and I showed you, I marked my hole right here and then run me a little pilot hole in there. So now let's put the little lag screw in there and be good. Now I got the top ones uh, semi-tight and I'll go on and do the bottom pilot hole. Tighten everything up and I can put my reel back on. Go back and make sure these are good and tight. So I'm gonna run a leader hose back up through here, like so, and the reel goes on. Lock that down. None of that'll spin right now. Pull the hose out. Put this back on the hose. Don't forget to snug that down just a little bit. I don't want that leaking. Push that back through. Give that just a little snug. Remember, don't go crazy with that right there. All we wanna do is snug that at locking that down real good. Now, once you get to this point, we're ready to put the uh, wind the hose up on here. Now you can see I got the hose pipe mist drug all the way down there. It goes past the cryptomeria, maybe 10 foot. Now, when I wind this thing up, I am not gonna hook it up and wind it with all this hose stretched out. I'm gonna grab your hose and bring it back here around here to the corner. That way when I'm winding it up, I am not. I don't have the full weight of the hose stretched out. And yeah, even though I got the thing mounted in the ground with concrete and all that, I just, you know, I don't wanna wear it out. You can see I've got all the hose drug up right here on the patio. Now I can just wind it up on my reel. All right, remember that little loop right here, the little nylon loop? Make sure you put your hose up inside that first before you hook it up. So I'm inside that loop, pull it around here, get hooked up nice and tight. Pull that back around and get that little bit of a kink out of it. Bingo, right there. Pull the slack out of the hose and then I'm going to tighten up this screw right here uh, for that nylon loop. Double check everything. Make sure that's spot on. Now you don't want to put the smack down on that because you don't want to crush your hose. 
but you want it tight enough where you can't move the hose check that make sure that's gonna oh boy look at there oh I'm gonna like this well I gotta say that that is considerably better than this all right so let's hook it up and see how this is gonna work. Make sure I ain't got no leaks or anything. Get the air out of the line. Oh yeah, look at there, oh yeah. See how nice and soft that water is? Ooh, it's cold too. But again, if I wanted to change my uh, water output, I can just change that disc right there and it'll, it'll change that. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna get a slow motion, watch this. And we come over here, all my connections look good, so hey. I'm good to go. Look, this was that feature I was telling you about right here. See how you lock that over like that? Now look, the reel won't turn. That's pretty good. And you unlock it, and it rolls right up. Well, I look forward to using this. Watering plants, watering the flowers on the patio, washing the truck, washing the van, squirting the kids down with water in the summer. It's it's this is a lot neater and a lot nicer uh, than what I had. And again, this stuff is super solid. Uh, I doubt I'll ever have to replace this. I look forward to using it. It's going to be pretty cool. Say, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day. And I'll check you later.